Hi, I'm Abhishek Patel. I'm a software QA with expertise in test automation and founder of Webion Systems, where we provide software testing services globally. So in this video, I will talk about page object model or page object design. So before I begin, question, the important question is why do we need it? Let's put it this way. So you as a manager decide to invest in test automation in your, for your project, but halfway through the project, you realize that the framework that came out is completely brittle and fragile. And on top of that, it is too difficult to maintain, difficult to scale and very difficult to read. And you don't need this. After investing all the resources, you definitely do not need this. That's the reason page object model, the design was invented. If followed properly, we can get the complete robust framework, which is easy to maintain, scale and read. Okay, so I have an example. I have developed the test automation framework following page object model. Let me demonstrate you that how a basic POM design looks like and you can take it further based on your company's requirement. So let me fire up my Eclipse and show you how a basic POM code looks like. But before that, you can find this code on my GitHub, which is uh, the link is in description. You can go and check it out. Okay, so without wasting time, let me demonstrate you in my Eclipse. This is the test automation framework that I have designed for application app.hubspot.com using the page object model design. This is the Maven project. So I have pom.xml file here, which has all the collection of dependencies, which is required to run this project, to build this framework. Here I have three source folder. One is main Java. Another one is test Java and main resources. Inside main Java folder, I have this packages, base package, config package, pages, test data, and utils. Inside the base package, I have test base class. So this is the base class and going to be inherited by all the pages and test pages. In this class, I have created the constructor, which is going to read config.property files, which is inside config package. And this is the config.property file, which contains all the global variable. And uh, I have one initialization method here, which is going to initialize browser, navigate to the URL and will do the basic stuff and has the page load timeout and implicit weight timeout. Then I have uh, pages packages inside the pages package. I have all these classes, uh, login class, home class, context, companies. So all these classes are actually the pages of an application. So in your application, if you have 10 pages, then you are going to create 10 classes here. If you, if your application has 100 pages, you are going to have 100 classes over here. So when you log in, when you navigate to the application, the first page you see is the login page. That's why I have a login class here. So inside the inside the login class, I have all these web elements and the method that I'm going to use during the testing or the action method, which utilizes this web element. Let me open up the Chrome browser and let's navigate to the application. So this is the home page. So inside the, I'm, I'm sorry, this is the lo login page. So inside the login class, I'm going to have First, uh, form element. Second is this email address element, which is this one. Similarly, password element and login button. So that's, that is what I have here. 
email address, password and login. And now with this element, I'm going to do login action. So this is the action login. And once I log in, I am returning the home page object. So that way I'm navigating to the home page. So after logging page, I have created the home page. Similarly on the home page, I am first going to record all the web elements that I am going to use or the web elements that are going to be used in writing the method or action method for the testing. So first you write all the web elements followed by the methods and then you return the page next page from the home page so as you can see there is a contact of contact so this is the link on a home page and if i click on this link i am going to the contact page that's why i am returning contact page object here let me show you See here when I log in, I am navigating to the home page. That's why our login page is returning the home page object upon clicking login button. Similarly, click on the contact drop down, and when I click here on a contact, it's navigating to contact page. Hence, our home page is returning contact page object upon clicking contacts of contact drop down similarly i have this contact page or contact page class here same thing first i am recording all the web elements and all the methods i am creating that are going to be used during the testing followed by the last matter method which is going to return the class or the object of other page okay and also in every method there is a constructor we are writing a constructor and passing the parameter as a driver and the this keyword for this class so this uh, method init element page factory class dot init element method take driver and page as a parameter so we have to create this constructor here in the class okay similarly we can find this constructor in all the page class okay here it is here it is without constructor we cannot use this class all these elements won't instantiate when we are going to test it so make sure you have to have this constructor now I have test data package. So inside the test data package, I am going to the, uh, inside this test data package, I have this test data CRM XLSX file, which is the collection of the test data that I'm going to use during the testing. Okay. So we are using here. I've used Apache POI. Apache POI API to read the data from this spreadsheet during the testing. Okay. Inside the and now I have this util package. So all the code and the utility other than our application is going inside this util package. So I have this class test util and test util class has uh, this uh this constants final constant like page load implicit weight explicit polling and whatnot so we can change the parameter by coming to the test test util class and changing it from to here right and uh, i have this dynamic get weight method so when you are designing page object model framework you have to use appropriate weight in your test otherwise your test will be flaky or brittle you cannot use 
thread dot sleep everywhere or you cannot use just implicit weight you have to use a dynamic explicit weight when you are designing your test framework and here i have this uh, method get data method and i have written a logic to read the data from test data crm.xlsx uh, file and once i read the data i am storing it inside this object inside this object okay get data object and we will use it during the time of testing that we'll see here so now this uh, this was the source main java class so this all are this this all files are required inside the source main java class folder then i have source test java so inside this folder i am going to put all the test classes and also if there are 10 classes or 10 page classes i am going to have 10 test classes so this and this should be the same when you design your page object framework right inside the login test inside the login test first thing i am doing is extending my base class test base and first i am calling the constructor as a super so this super is going to call the constructor of test base which what what it does it actually reads the data from config.properties file right and second step is i am using before method annotation so i have created this method setup and have given the tag before method this tag is coming from test ng framework you can even use junit but generally us testers prefer test ng as it has a good control over your functional test so first step you do is create the before method and give this method initialization method this method is coming from test base and instantiate your login page class and second thing is now start writing your test method so here i have this test method that will log in in my application the so login page dot login username and password so this one line of code is readable it's so readable and it's easy to read and it is organized and clean that's why we use page object design and followed by after method and in after method is driver dot quit so once this method is run i'm going to quit the browser or the driver excuse me so this is how you design your test in page object model so i can write i can have many methods in between here so it follows uh, first it start with the before method this method and this after methods similarly if i had one more method here then it will be before method that one more new method and after method okay now similarly let's see the home test home test class so when we have home dot java page we must have home test dot java class which is the home test we are doing the same here as well first thing extend the parent class that's a test base class and we have this test util so we are instant instantiating test util class that's here test util class because test util class has dynamic weight as well as method to read the data from spreadsheet next step call the constructor of the test base class to initialize our browser and read config.properties file and again starts with before method of test ng and does initialization and home page and and also we have after method and these are the method which we are going to run in a home test or the test for the home page so this is first method what it does is actually checking the links actual and expected it's checking the links on the web application 
and comparing it with the links that we have provided here to compare with and using this soft assertion method to assert expected links and actual links and the second method is test home page URL so when a user lands on a home page we want to know that home page link should contain getting started screen so that's what we are asserting here all assertion goes inside the test class now we have contact test same thing here as well but here we are using the data provider keyword to get the data to get the data from the util.getData context so when we use this method that's coming from the test util class util.getData and provide the name of the spreadsheet then we are getting the data which is stored inside the get contact details using the data provider method and then we are passing here data provider and the name of the method to get this data is going to be inputted here to run this method okay and this is the second method I have which is test contact title test context title okay it's going to check the title of the contact page similarly we have test if context created so once we create all this context the data coming from the spreadsheet we want to make sure that contacts were created and they are showing up in the table and like other tests it ends with after method where driver is going to be quit here we have a log file to here we have a log.info statement we will see that how to use logger to enable logging capability in your page object model design now we have a company's same steps we follow here as well okay now we have a now i have this third source package source main resource package inside which i have this log 4j2.properties file so this inside this property file you have to use these properties enable all these properties so now you can use log 4j class or log logger class to log all these steps inside your framework as you can see this is log.info this log this log is the object of type logger okay so this is going to log the information on in the console or in this separate file that we are going to give location and that is you have to configure the properties in the log4j 2.properties file and here I have a package named test suite this is basically test ng.xml files here I have smoke test.xml which this file is going to run the smoke test of our framework and regression test.xml file is going to run regression test of our framework so in smoke test.xml file I have used the group tag of name smoke so when I run the smoke test.xml file it's going to run the test method with the tag smoke in the class login test and home test let's see the method with the name smoke or method with the tag smoke inside the login test class in the login test class we have this method with the tag smoke okay and inside the home test method we have this method with the tag smoke so you can use this group this feature or this group tag to run the methods with the tag smoke so this is how you can separate smoke test from regression test and you can create as many xml file as required based on your project needs okay that's this is the basic 
foundation of page object model framework from here you can scale it up based on your company's requirement or project requirement but this is the basics this is basic and the essential and the important structure of page object model design framework okay so let's run this smoke test.xml and see whether it runs smoke test or not okay run as a test ng.xml Okay, first test passed. Okay, so both the See, so both the test pass, test total test run were two, and passes two, failure zero, skip zero. So here we can see the log information. This log information is coming from log object. It's a log 4J2 API that I have used in my uh, framework to log the test steps here, right? and here we can see the test ng report as well you can find test ng report inside your test output and this report that's index.html you can send this report to your manager emailable report.html report okay now if you want to run this test framework or this your uh, test project uh, through any continuous integration tool, then you should provide it a capability to run it from command window CMD. So for that here, I have used Surefire plugin. I've used Surefire plugin so that I can run my test, this, uh, this framework test from command window. Okay. So here is the Surefire plugin I'm using and then providing this source main resource test suite. So this is one source main resource test suite and this dollar test suite is the parameter. It's going to take the parameter. So we can provide either regression test.xml file or smoke test.xml file inside command window. Okay, so let's see how to run this from command window or from Maven. Okay, so we have this location for our test. This is our project location. Open up CBMD, run as an administrator. Yes. CD and okay. Now command to run let's uh, so we here we ran smoke test from ide but let's run regression test this time from command prompt window using maven so the the command is mvn clean test mvn clean install mvn clean install and d and uh, name of the parameter that's test suite and equal to name of the XML file that we want to run. That's uh, that's our e g r e s s i o n s t s right dot XML. This command this command will run regression test dot XML file of our project that means all the tests of this projects are going to run using this command hit enter so we can configure this command inside jenkins
okay so all test ran so as you have seen how smoothly all of my test ran and here is the result test ran 11 and failure zeros no errors skip nothing and you can find the result okay it's uh, this one surefire reports at 641 and here is the emailable report so this is the report of the test run that we just ran up spot regression test name of test past 11 skip 0 retired nothing was retried this was the total time taken to run all the test right all the parameters that were used during the testing okay this is the test report which we can email to our stakeholder after done with the test run so this is how a basic test framework a page object model framework looks like so the purpose of designing the framework is first scalability it's now here it's easy to add a page and the test of that page it's easy now because everything is organized second point is readability as we can see here inside any test how easy it's, it is to read this test third point is maintainability so i hope you understood the importance of page object model while developing test automation framework and uh, if you have any questions leave a comment below and uh, i would suggest you to check some important links inside the description box and with that i am ending the video i hope you like it thank you very much